Have you ever heard the phrase brand strategy before and thought, that sounds really fancy. I have no idea what that means. Well, I want to break that down for you today because I have to admit, I think it is a fairly jargony sounding phrase that makes brand strategists sound fancy, but also totally intimidates people. So here's the deal. I want to talk to you today about what a brand strategy is, why you need it, and where to get started. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kelly Sinclair. I'm a brand and marketing coach, and I help passionate entrepreneurs unlock their unique brands and show up and shine online and step into their goodness and their passion with confidence and unapologetically grow their brands. So I love talking to you about all the things to do with branding and marketing because they go hand in hand and I'm going to be spending a lot of time talking about what that looks like, why that matters, why you can't do one without the other um, over the next few weeks. So today is all about the brand strategy, which is really the core of what I help people create. So the first piece of it is what is it? So I have a framework that I break down as far as what does a brand strategy entail? It includes a lot of things, it really does. It includes understanding what your brand is all about, who you really are, what are your values, kind of shaping that mission and vision, why you care about what you're doing, pulling together your story, also really getting clear on who your ideal clients are. Because if you've heard me talk before, it's not about how do you turn the people in front of you into clients, it's how do you find the people who are compatible with what you offer and actually can benefit from the service that you provide and it's about compatibility in terms of your personality, your style, and you know, having similar beliefs. Like, don't we all want to work with people who share some of our philosophies and beliefs about life? Because that makes it a lot easier to feel connected, to feel supported, um, and that's what a coach is all about, right? And when you have a client who is on board with you, it is a dream to find that person. I have a couple of those dream clients who um, are working towards a common goal, who are interested in actually taking my advice. That's kind of important to me, <laughs> you know, because people who aren't going to take action, well, I'm sorry, but if you don't take action, then we're not going to be a great fit. So. Anyways, defining your ideal client is a really important piece of your brand strategy because that helps you create then the next piece, which is your message. What are you talking about? How do you talk about it in a way that it actually attracts those dream clients to work with you, that connects with them, that gets inside their head, that uncovers and explains what their challenges are and also helps paint a picture for them of this future life that they could have if you help them solve the problem that they have currently. That is where the messaging comes in so, so important. But in addition to messaging, you have to have a thing to message. You have to have an offer. So sometimes I find that the challenge is, it's about, oh, I think that my messaging is off, but also what are you selling? And how does that fit into the piece, the, to the puzzle? Because if your offers don't align with your ideal clients, that's an issue. <laughs> So getting really clear on what your offer suite looks like and having the right offers and not too many offers so that you can be really clear when you're communicating, when you're building your message, when you're sharing it. So that's the third piece of the brand strategy is sharing. That is marketing. Marketing over there. Positioning yourself, finding the right platforms to reach the audience that you're trying to reach, actually choosing marketing tools that are going to help you further your mission rather than just whatever shiny marketing thing seems like the latest trend, right? A lot of times people ask me, where should I market my business? And my answer is always, that depends. It depends on your brand, your message, your ideal clients, and then where are they? And where are you gonna actually show up to be with them? because there is not just one solution to marketing. If you have ever heard anybody say, this is the only way you need to do it, just follow my plan and everything will be great. I call bullshit on that. No, 
You can do it your way. You can do it a way that works for you. You can find that out over time. Yes, it is overwhelming to think about marketing and all the tools that you could be using and all the platforms that you could be on and all the time that you could be spending marketing yourself. You don't have to be all those places. You have to create consistency and momentum within the few places that you might actually show up, whether that's networking events, whether that's social media, whether that's doing a live video every week like I have been for over two years now, right? Whatever it is for you that's gonna help you grow and reach your goals. So why do you need a brand strategy? Let's talk about that for a minute. Brand strategy is the foundation of all marketing. That's basically what I just said, right? You need to have a plan, know what you're talking about, be confident in your brand and what it's all about, and who you're trying to reach that is so, so, so important. Your client, your audience, is the recipient of everything that you do. So when you're communicating, marketing, reaching out, always be thinking about who you're talking to and use language and a platform that's going to help you reach those people. So in addition to being able to map out your whole marketing plan with a brand strategy, it also really supports confidence and momentum. So again, clarity is power. Being clear about who you are, who you serve, what you're all about, who you're for, what you're gonna say, allows you to much more easily show up and serve and do the thing, to do the marketing. So if you've ever sat down and gone, okay, I gotta write out my content plan, I have to figure out what I'm gonna say all week long on social media, or maybe you even do like a month at a time of batching, cool, but then you sit down and go, I have no idea what I'm gonna write about. Well, who are you talking to? What are you What are you talking about? And this whole idea of positioning yourself as an expert in your field and sharing your knowledge and leveraging that, that has what been what I've built my entire content strategy around. Showing up and doing this video every week gets easier every single week. I Like I say to you every time, I'm down to a sticky note. I used to be like writing pages of script for myself, but I'm down to a sticky note. And the more that I do these videos, the more that I get empowered and feeling like, yes, this is my zone of genius. Yes, I wanna talk about this. Yes, I can ad lib a 15 minute video. Yes, and you can too, when you get consistency. And that consistency creates confidence because the more you talk about the thing that you're great at, the thing that you do and why you care about it, the more you feel that. And then I believe that that transfers into an energetic vibrancy lift, and that is what people really want to work with. Like, sure, you have to show a little bit of your credentials. Sure, you should be able to say you know what you're doing. But at the end of the day, if someone's gonna work with you, they're working with you. They're here for you. And what makes you different and how you make them feel. And so I think that people make buying decisions way more about energy and connection than they do about your resume. And I'll do a whole other video about how I overcame that feeling of like, but it's about my resume and look at all the experience I have and blah, 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 to the point of being like, okay, what really, really matters here? How do I make you feel? Okay, so the third thing I wanted to talk about today is just where to get started when it comes to brand strategy. So there's a lot of pieces here, but at the end of the day, having a brand strategy in place is to help you build momentum. And one of the biggest pieces of that is really connecting with your why. When you're connected with why you're doing what you're doing, when you're connected with your purpose, when you're connected with who you're trying to serve, the difference you're trying to make in the world, that's what helps you keep showing up. That's what helps you do the thing. That's what helps you push through the hard stuff. That's what helps you get through the rejection and the imposter syndrome and the fears and all the things that come along with entrepreneurship and that don't go away. <laughs> you need that connection to your why. So I want you to think about that now. That's my, my little exercise for you. Why are you doing this? Why are you really doing this? And if you answer, you know, I want to create financial freedom for my family, great, why? And then keep asking yourself that question. Ask yourself that question seven times even. 
Why is that important? What's the answer? Why is that important? What's the answer? Why is that important? And then focus on that why. Next time you're like, I gotta show my face on social media. I gotta make a video. Why are you doing it? Why are you showing up? Why do I keep showing up for you every single week? <laughs> because I know that somebody is gonna take something away from this that's going to make them feel more motivated to move forward in their passion and running their business around something that they truly love to do. And I think that that uplifts the entire world because more people are happier. That's my why. To make the world happier. Just not a big, not a big deal at all, right? So that was what I wanted to talk to you about today. Your brand strategy, why you need one, where to get started. If you wanna chat with me more about this, I would love to have um, a discovery call. I'll put the link here so that you can connect with me. You can always send me a DM and we will talk about your brand strategy and what that might look like. I hope that you have a great week and I'll see you back here next time.